Hi all, welcome back. Create this book with me, part four, music edition. Ah, oh, too bad. Where is it? Music edition. Three things. One, I have a question for you later on in the video. Two, this video might be slightly different from the average create this book video that you know, but before you say anything, watch it till the end and then let me know what you think of it. And three, I have a whole bunch of stuff prepared, so let's see what we can make of it. Create a music-inspired page. That's the one we're doing today. And I did a bit of prep work, which brings me to my question. In the meantime, let's get started on that background. As soon as I saw the prompt, I thought it would be fun if the stave, that's those five lines, if it would swoop over the page and there was music notes dancing on it. I don't know how to draw dancing music notes. So that took like a proper brainstorming session with lots of trial and error, starting with very meh ones that are not really dancing, not even with movement lines. Uh, some of them are very wonky and bendy and some of them are just throwing each other around. But I did get there in the end. Same with the background. I had a couple of ideas, like a different color paper or maybe some paint. And with all these ideas, I now know what I'm gonna do in the video. My question to you, would this whole process be nice to do in a live? I've not done lives yet. I think it would be fun. I need to figure a couple of things out, but first of all, I thought I'd check with you guys. Would you be up for a live? It would just be you and me we're grabbing the book. What are the next ones, next prompts that we're gonna do? Some of them might benefit from some preparation. Would that be fun to do together as a brainstorming session? Let me know in the comments whether you'd like something like that, whether you would actually watch that, or if you just say like, nah, you do that on your own and I'll just watch the video. I'm good. That's fine as well, by the way. So that was my question. Let's get back to the actual book. Okay, so we've got our background finished and dry and it's holding up really well. I put quite a bit of paint on there and the other pages are fine. So that's good. It's gone a little bit wobbly, but that's fine. That's part of the charm, right? So the next thing I wanna do is do things possibly simultaneously. simultaneously. I want to add the stave that goes whoosh over the page. I think I need either acrylic paint with a very thin paintbrush. Otherwise, I can try jelly roll or I've got my 2D art acrylic paint pen, but I'm thinking the tip is a bit too thick. We could just have a little test piece, see which one works. This is a jelly roll. I don't want that one. I'm thinking either the jelly roll or the paint pen. That's good, okay, so they both don't smudge. That's good. Ooh, which one do I want? I think I'm gonna go with the acrylic paint pen. The one I thought I wasn't gonna use. So it's good to test, but I'm keeping this on the side for just in case. The other thing I wanna do, I've got this really nice sheet music that's got this old look to it, because it's old. And I thought it might be nice to add this to some corners. So if I rip it and then I add it to this corner and to this corner, it feels a bit weird though, ripping up sheet music, but I'm gonna do it anyways. We're just doing it. So this bit will go in this corner and this bit will go in this corner. And I thought it might be a fun idea if it's like 
what happens when you rip a sheet music and then the music escapes and dances about. That's the idea. And just that it looks nice. Let's do the stave. I think the first one needs to be sort of swoosh over the page. So there's a lot of space for the music notes to dance about. And then maybe afterwards, I might see if I can do another one, like more to the back. I might even be able to use that so it's thinner and further away. Something like that. Next is our music notes. For this, I tested a couple of things. With all this testing I've done, with smudging the black pens and putting some Mod Podge over it, see if it smears out. I'm gonna use these two for the actual music notes. I feel like I should sketch it out, but that feels like, oh no, don't make a mistake. Be safe, sketch it out first. I just wanna go for it. So. I'm gonna go for it. I've got my example page, which I did in my brainstorm. So I know roughly what I wanna do. This is my favorite one, I think. So I want this one to be like center stage, I think here. And then we'll pick the next one. Eee, how exciting. Like how is every step scary, right? It's exciting. It's scary as well. Just gonna do it. Just do it. So those are the music notes. And then with the smaller pen, I'm gonna do like the arms and the extra legs. Those are dancing music notes. That's so cute. I like it. I like you guys. Let's do more. Which one do we put here? Maybe I can put two ones. Two ones? Maybe I can put two. I might like this one to be right here. There we go. And I also like this guy, because he has a hat. <laughs> this makes me happy, I like it. music notes but four actually but we can put some more right right here to give them a little bit of a shine Let's add the sheet music. There. And there it is. It only needs one more thing. And that is a sparkle. A sparkle on every page. It's finished. And this is when it stops being an average create this book video because normally you would do like or people would do like two prompts three prompts maybe even four I like this so much I'm gonna let this inspire me to actually put the book aside <gasps> and make something else with this idea let me grab some other stuff one shopping trip later for the next thing I bought some watercolor paper hoping that it can handle some water and it won't go all wobbly because I cut this paper in four pieces and printed some postcard background. 
the idea is I want to make something with the dancing music notes on the front of this. So I actually have a postcard and I wouldn't like the postcard to be all wobbly. Also, the plan is I want to do the background with acrylic paint like in the book. However, I also want to try and use watercolor. Now, do I know how to use watercolor? No, but we can figure that out. I'm going to test one with the acrylic paint. I mean, we've basically done that, but see how the paper works. And I'm going to do one with watercolor, also green to see how it looks. And if it works, does the paper go all weird? Let's try it. Whichever one I like best, I might be able to make like a whole rainbow of different backgrounds with different dancing music notes. So you have like a set of postcards. I thought that would be fun. So I'm going to do that with the one I like best. Do I need something to protect my desk? I'm thinking no. And straight after that, I'm thinking famous last words. So no. White first. Bloop, 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 bloop. And I'm just gonna smear it all over. So the first layer is white on white, which is very interesting. Obviously the most interesting part of the whole video. Wow. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of green. See how that looks together with white. I feel like it is wobbling a little bit. Do I need to like stick it to the table or something? What do I do? Surely there's not more water in acrylic paint than there is in watercolor. Something like that. For the watercolors, I have a very cheap kit and that's probably a negative thing. <laughs> but let's work with it anyway. So what I've seen people do is they wet the paper. I don't know how wet. And then they'll just put the brush with a little bit, little bit of paint and then they go boop, boop, boop and it goes like whoosh and it's magic and everything's beautiful. So I'm going to do that. I can't even see. All oh, right, yeah, I can see later. It's wet, all right. Now I take, for example, this brush. No, I don't like this brush. This brush, I'm just going to load it up with green paint and I'm going to boop it. Boop. That doesn't really work. It's supposed to go like whoosh. So maybe I need more water. Is it not wet enough? More water. More water. <gasps> yes, look. I touched it a little bit. So more water is more good. Whoosh, whoosh. Don't really know what I'm doing. But my drinking water is now green. This is dry now. I'll test pieces. Let me know which one you prefer. I think I have an opinion and I think it is that I'm not very good at watercolor yet. Maybe we can do something with that, like learning how to watercolor in 30 days, if that's even possible. I am slightly disappointed that the paper has gone a little bit wonky. It's not that bad. That was like the main reason why I bought watercolor paper. I thought that would be able to stay flat, but apparently not. If you know any tips, if I'm doing anything wrong, let me know. Okay, let's put the music notes on there. I drew them all again, so it's not so hectic. And we've got the breakdancing one as well, which is this one. Not too convinced about that, that one yet, but maybe we can do something with that. You know what? The breakdancing one is in. Should I maybe draw this with pencil first? Maybe. Am I going to draw it with pencil first? No. Is this too big? Possibly. You ask many questions. Now this one, the only thing I did off camera was add a couple of splodges. 
So which one do you want to put on this? Maybe the one with the hat. So these are the two test pieces. I like them both. I think I like this one slightly better. I think I would like this one better if I knew what I was doing. I might have to save this one for like the future where I practice a bit more with the watercolor. I'll start making the rainbow with this one. Okay, let's probably time-lapse our way through a rainbow. This is our result. Everything you see came from one prompt. Create a music inspired page. I think we did that. We put the sheet music over it. We got some dancing music notes and we got inspired to make a bunch of postcards. Let me know which one is your favorite and maybe if I missed one, maybe I need to add more. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.